Today we're taking a look at perhaps the most impactful change that I've made to my gaming and productivity setup in years. The BenQ Mobius EX3210U is a 32 inch 4K 144Hz monitor with FreeSync Premium Pro that checks all of the buzzword boxes, but does it deliver where it counts most on your desk? Let's find out. Before we dive in here, guys, I just wanna thank you for stopping by and checking out the BPS Customs YouTube channel. If you like this kind of content, including reviews, how-tos, PC builds, and overclocking, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and feel free to browse the merch store at bpscustoms.com. For transparency, BenQ did send over their latest gaming monitor for review, but this is in no way a sponsored piece. They asked for my honest feedback, so let's get into it. First, let's quickly run down the specs. The EX3210U predictably has a terrible name, but that's almost to be expected when discussing monitors, at this point at least. What's more interesting is actually the Mobius sub-brand, which BenQ is using to designate their products that focus specifically on gaming applications. They have a few products in this line currently, but this is the flagship with a 3840x2160 resolution, 144Hz adaptive refresh rate, a 32-inch diagonal panel, updated styling, and sturdy construction. The first thing that caught my attention when I took it out of the box was the contrast between typical monitor coloring and what BenQ has chosen to do to the rear housing and stand of the EX3210U. The bright white finish, RGB LED accents, and angular Mobius logo is actually quite striking and makes me wish that they would have kind of carried this all the way around to the front as well. The lighting on the rear is configurable and shows through in four strips oriented in angles towards the corner. However, don't expect this to replace your Philips Hue system or any other kind of desk backlighting. While the lights here are a nice touch, they simply aren't bright enough to lighten up the wall behind your desk. The stand is made of aluminum and is a vast improvement over the rectangular ones used on previous BenQ monitors. Those took up an inconvenient amount of desk space, while these are easier to work around for cabling and accessories. I will say that although I like the color accent along the front faces of the stand, it's kind of a love it or hate it thing, as I'm sure there will certainly be some people out there who would just prefer the stand to be silver. The stand itself is fully adjustable for height, tilt, and swivel, and making these incremental changes to monitor positioning is pretty simple. The EX3210U will then stay where it's positioned, as the mechanism is tight enough not to recoil after being placed where you want it. The rear of the monitor has a 100 by 100 vase mount in case you'd rather float this thing on a monitor stand, and you'll also find some serious connectivity with two HDMI 2.1 one DisplayPoint 1.4 and a four port USB 3.0 hub. So you don't have to run your keyboard, mouse and headset cables back to your PC if you don't want to. The front of the monitor also features something that's become a BenQ staple over the past few generations, stereo speakers in the chin. These are, I don't know, let's just call them serviceable. Any serious gamer will want it at minimum a set of external speakers and more likely their own set of gaming cans. The speakers are fine, but underwhelming, with a 2x2 two two watt setup plus a 5 watt subwoofer. The sound reproduced is, as expected, pretty flat and dull. There's also a built-in microphone, which I'll admit I didn't try, so I guess that makes me a bad reviewer. The panel itself, however, is fantastic, and that's what you buy these for. For years since experiencing 144Hz 1440p ultrawides, I've been longing for a 4K 32-inch version simply because I need both a 4K panel and a larger screen real estate size for my video edits, and I wanted that high refresh rate for the very few instances when I actually do get to play some games. The EX3210U does not disappoint. FreeSync Premium Pro works flawlessly with both AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards, as even though the monitor isn't officially G-Sync compatible, it was recognized right away by the driver for my RTX 3090, and I haven't seen a single instance of screen tearing, flickering, or stuttering. My gameplay on everything from Halo Infinite to Cyberpunk has been nothing short of exceptional, with stunningly sharp visuals and immersive fluidity. This is helped by the fact that the side bezels of the monitor are frameless, black, and relatively thin. 
helping them kind of melt away when you're trying to really focus on what's on screen. The 144Hz performance was easily confirmed by some quick UFO testing, which I left running for a while without it detecting any dips or changes in the display at all. The EX3210U also does HDR. It has a feature called HDRI, which is essentially the monitor intelligently boosting contrast in scenes to mimic a true HDR color map without actually having any HDR data to draw from. This feature is cool, I guess, but is not a game changer and it's not something that I leave enabled. It also has actual HDR features for games and media that support HDR10. However, peak brightness is limited to 600 nits. So overall, I found my experience to actually be better using these standard color modes than leaving HDR turned on. Also playing into my decision is the fact that I use my monitor primarily for video and photo editing where I need color accuracy more than I need high contrast. The EX3210U covers 98% of the DCI-P3 color space and 99% Adobe RGB, meaning that the determining factor to my end products will be my overall mediocre skills rather than the monitor's limitations. In fact, it's often striking seeing the difference in how something looks on this monitor compared to how it, say, looks on my laptop screen. And BenQ has really dialed in a serious professional workhorse here. And I guess let's talk about media. It looks great, as I think you probably would have expected. Everything from MKBHD videos to Marvel movies were sharp, bright, and pleasant. I tend to do monitor reviews from a real world, user-focused standpoint, rather than a deep dive technical analysis. Channels like Hardware Unboxed can provide you with a ton of data to draw from. But honestly, I just prefer to use a monitor for a while and then tell you what I think. I've been using the EX3210U now for about a month, and it has been absolutely fantastic. Having a product like this on my desk makes me want to find more time for gaming because the performance is so much different than what I was using previously, which was a 60 Hertz adaptive refresh 4K panel also from BenQ. I will say that the $1,100 price tag is a bit steep considering that there are competing and similar products on the market from companies like Gigabyte for a couple hundred less, but having tested the EX3210U, I'm pretty confident in saying that it's worth the money, even if a few of the features don't really hit here. The speakers, eh, maybe I'd rather have a smaller chin. The lighting, it doesn't really do anything as you don't see the backside of your monitor. The microphone, I don't know, this seems kind of unnecessary, but none of these are why you buy a thousand dollar monitor. You buy it for the gaming performance, and the EX3210U certainly delivers. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll stick around for more coming soon. As always, see you all next time.